Good day everyone, this is architect Aris Basa here to share with you a quick introduction to building information model. We will do it in about six to seven minutes and I hope you stay with me until the end of this video. I promise a little bit of your time today will yield so much learning and more when you embrace BIM. Let's define the basics. If you look up BIM online, you will see all these images. It's a definite information overload out there. That is where I get into the picture. Me as your BIM consultant is here to guide you on your path to your own BIM. If you're a student, startup, practicing architect or engineer, or maybe you're the CEO of a design and build company, or maybe you're an experienced consultant or contractor, I hope you get something from this video that will inspire you to get BIM into your practice. Let's define BIM. For me, this is the best and most accurate definition of BIM. Take note on the keywords create, manage, and project lifestyle. Because really, from the concept stage hanggang sa design, construction, operation, maintenance, up to the demolition of the building, BIM is of great value. Look, let's look back at history. I have this image. I always use this image whenever I get the chance to introduce BIM in a seminar or a trainings to get into uh, uh, a good conversation with my audience. But since this is not a live session, I will not take long para ipahula pa sa inyo kung saan ba galing tong image na to. So this image dates back to the 80s. It is an early version of BIM. It is from an early design stage software which is based on a data loaded 3D model. At alam nyo ba, digging deeper into the beginnings of BIM, I found out that 60s pa lang, may nakaisip na ng BIM. You may pause this video to read through this information and may look up more on what I am talking about. You know, the, the guy named Douglas Engelbert is the same guy who have um, invented the mouse, the mouse that you use for your computer right now. So, uh, BIM in the 80s have uh, you know started using computer aided design while this change dramatically increased the drawing office productivity um, it was still more of a paper-based uh, output but now you know that BIM encompasses so much information from the sequencing information to time cost operation information and sustainability data BIM has a, have really skyrocketed our, our design and construction projects. So, looking beyond from today, we know that BIM have really revolutionized or have already revolutionized design and construction. So let's look at this, uh, this image. As you can see, you have uh, the levels of detail. When you, when you deal with BIM, you, have, you will always um, here the, the, the terms LOD 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. If you look at this image, you can picture this in your mind, and this is the clear um, definition of these terms. LOD 100 is like concept, 200 is design development, LOD 300 is equivalent to IFC, 400 is shop drawings, and of course 500 is your as-built information. Some terms that are very useful you'll get to um, um, deal with those terms. And of course, um, in the UK, BIM is already mandated. And take a look at this, um, take a look at these downloadable ref references. This will be very useful for you. So use of BIM in concept design to detail design is an entirely different topic. And we'll be doing that soon. And hopefully you stay with me subscribe to my channel and, and you'll get that. So let's go to BIM and construction. It's very helpful for the logistics and for the construction manager. Imagine you can you can see how you, your your materials will be placed and where your um, uh, equipments will be located. And of course, uh, construction sequencing is very helpful as you can get your project program 
uh, linked with your 3D model and come up with, you know, those uh, progress reporting. And of course, um, para hindi mag yung architects and engineers of various trades, let's do clash detection. Let's, cl let's solve those clashes using our software. The images you see here are samples of clash detection. Um, clearly, you can see the clashes um, on the 3D environment, so you can solve it and uh, thereby saving uh, tons of information, tons of, of, of budget money for your client. So let's go into your business. How can you get your practice into BIM? I paused for a while because uh, this is something that you have to think of. Uh, not really. You already have your hardware. You already have your laptop. You have a laptop that works well with your AutoCAD software. That's fine. And of course, you need to have your own software. But you can start with an educational software to learn um, the various um, the various. Uh, uh, software used for building information modeling. There's just so much uh, 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 BIM software, and we have category. We have just um, streamlined it to these four popular software. One of which we are teaching uh, for free. You can learn the basics. Just follow my other playlist where you can um, learn the basics from 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 zero up to learning how to create your own uh, house using uh, that software and of course you have to learn continue learning attend BIM trainings attend seminars courses uh, free or available online you can also pay which are available online of course you have to consult the experts consult um, uh, experienced professionals who have been in the BIMs, BIM business for several years already me, myself, I'm still consulting with more senior people who can really advise me on, on, uh, you know, on just about anything about me. And most importantly, you have to practice it. You have to start, you know, there will be, there will be uh, growing pains, there will be mistakes, but there's no way to, uh, th the best way is just to start. 